Hi, my name is Ashraf. Hi, my name is Junyan. Hi, my name is Nakit Fahmi. Assalamualaikum. I'm Amar Shafi. I'm Aaron Denke. Assalamualaikum and hello. My name is Muhammad Shafudan. Hi, my name is Armando Antonio Lubish. Hi, my name is Muhammad Aaron Ekandi Muhammad Nizam. We are going to present on the topic an overview study of the usage and benefits of derivative towards the development of Malaysian economy. The article titled The Impact of Interest Rate Changes on the Islamic Foreign Exchange Forward in the Malaysian Derivative Market was written by Arif et al. as context. Currently, Islamic banking still relies on interest-based benchmarks and conventional methods as the way of calculating the Islamic Foreign Exchange Forward price. For this reason, the authors set out to investigate the impact of the change in interest rates on the Islamic foreign exchange forward market. The study found that interest rate changes did have noticeable and negative effects, especially in the long run and medium term, which mirrored that of foreign exchange forward contracts in conventional banking. As a result, the authors also highlighted the problems that could be addressed in order to further develop Sharia compliant hedging instruments. These include the lack of alternatives to conventional frameworks and lack of Islamic interbank rates frameworks in different countries. By resolving these issues, it is possible to reduce or eliminate the need to rely on conventional frameworks and develop Sharia compliant hedging instruments. The market for financial derivative removing impediment to growth by Bacha and Merican. In this article, the authors propose various measures to instigate positive changes in the local derivative market. This include advocating for decentralization in risk management, liberalizing central savings, involving market makers like PNB, and eliminating restrictions on unit trust. They also recommend the establishment of derivative funds, endorse the adoption of single stock features simplify licensing procedures and the last one emphasize the importance of investor education this step aims to enhance market liquidity and stimulate growth in the local derivative market the importance of financial derivative markets to the economics development in the world's four major economies this article was written to examine the dynamic relationship in the four major economies of the globe between the derivatives, markets and economic progress. Malaysia needs to take the four major economies in China, USA, Japan and India as examples on how to bring up our economy. Since derivative markets facilitate the growing accumulation of assets, we may use this advantage to impact the growth of our financial market and economy. This can further enhance the allocation of resources into investment activities at higher rates of return. Derivatives market also serves as a channel of risk reduction and redistribution. This can help businesses to share risks more efficiently, undertake riskier ventures and ultimately accelerate economic growth. Some of the important components that Malaysia needs to learn from these four major economies is their future and options that could help Malaysia grow the economy and help us trade all around the world. The impact of financial derivative on uh, Malaysian stock market. Financial derivative crucial in today's market serve two keys through. First, they effectively hedge space, allowing business to offset uncertainties in currency exchange rates or commodity prices. Second, this instrument facilitate speculation and trading, enabling investors to capitalize on price movement and enhancing market vibrancy. The ability and the removal of regu regulatory barriers have fueled the growth of global derivative markets, making them indivisible for risk management and market efficiency. Financial derivative will continue to shape the future, contributing to market stability and growth. From the article, Factors for using derivatives, evidence from Malaysian non-financial companies by Noriati and Balkis. It is found that the factors that determines a company to opt for derivatives are market to book value and current liquidity. According to the author, if the company is high value and currently holding a high liquidity, it means that the company is more likely to be using derivatives. Derivatives are useful as it can be used to reduce tax cash flow volatility, mitigate from risk, and protect management's wealth.
other factors such as debt to asset ratio, size of the firm and liquidity ratio were found to have little to no effect on the matter. On the other hand, the size of the managerial share ownership seems to have a reverse effect. When the managerial share is high, the probability of using derivatives are low. This could mean that managers would not bet on derivatives to use it to increase their wealth through the company. From the article, performance of crude palm oil and crude palm kernel oil futures in Malaysian derivatives market by Noriza Muhammad Saad et al. It is discussing on FCPO, which is the futures crude palm oil contract in Malaysia. It is known that this is the top futures contract by trading volume and open interest. Two conclusions were made, which are the price of a contract relates to its performance and the latter, there is significant mean difference between its contact performance and its commodity instruments. In simple term, if the instruments are regarded as positive, that means that the performance is good, which in return increases its price. The impact of derivative views on firms' values. According to the article written by Halls 2023, found that derivative have a positive and a significant impact on theme value in smaller theme rather than in larger themes and the author he pointed four benefits of derivative use for smaller themes one of them is reduced volatility for this case derivative act as hedging tool protecting hanging and cash flow another point is locked in price for this case derivative ensuring predictable costs and revenue stream the next point is currency protection for this case derivative shields themes from adverse currency movements safeguarding for this case profits and the last but not the least is speculative opportunities derivative presents or offer opportunities for generating additional profits from strategic positioning the asian derivative market research issues it discussed about the evolution of modern ocean markets for shares and bonds emphasizing the role of spot and future markets in managing price risk and fostering economic development most of asian emerging countries are transforming their agriculture based economic to industrial based economics including india Different with Korea which has minimal agriculture sector because lack of need to hedge agricultural products and is more prominent in the derivative markets. Moreover, Hong Kong have been evolving from trade-based activities to services, shipping and industry while their current derivative market faces challenges such as limited trading volume growth. Furthermore, the difference between emerging countries such as China is they have foreign currency issues. And Singapore does not have enough liquidity in its commodity futures contract and Korea only has securities futures. For Malaysia, they have faced challenges due to a lack of interest from investors and government support different to Japan that has future and stock option that is well developed by retail investors. As a conclusion, the development of commodity and financial derivative market is very crucial for emerging markets to manage risks and enhance economic stability. Although problems such as liquidity and regulatory frameworks pose a challenge, the growth of these markets in Asia can encourage regional collaboration between countries. A global derivative markets. Financial derivatives integral to global markets play diverse roles from hedging risk to speculation and trading. Hedging involves mitigating risks such as using currency derivatives to counter foreign exchange fluctuation in international trade or managing risks related to interest rates, currencies, commodities, and equities. Speculation and trading with derivatives enable investors to predict and capitalize on future asset prices and fostering market growth. The expansion of global uh, derivative market is fueled by increased investor complexity, technological investment, and market liberalization. This instrument offers uh, benefits like improved risk management, increased market liquidity, enhanced price discovery, and reduced transaction costs. However, they also pose risks such as significant losses, complex contracts, and global market interconnectedness. 
in summary, financial derivative are in indispensable for global markets, serving crucial roles in hedging, risk management, speculation, and trading, while offering benefits. Understanding the potential risk is essential before engaging in derivative investment. From the article, Should We Fear Derivative by Rennie Stoss, it discussed the type of derivative, the benefits of derivative, and the risk involved in derivative. According to the author, the main types of derivative includes forward contracts, swaps, options, and exotics. Derivative can help firms and individuals to better manage risk and increase their profitability, as derivative can be used to hedge against risk. It can also help investors to take advantage of adverse information about stock price. The article also mentions that disvaluate derivative and illiquid derivative are some of the risks that comes with the benefits. As a conclusion, we should not fear derivative as long as the risks are understood and measured.